We operate an actual mechanic auto repair facility. I think we're the only green repair facility. So we take care of customers' cars here, not just cars we sold. This is where we do all of our conversions, biodiesel conversions. So some of these cars are customers' cars just getting fixed on, and then other wholesale units that are we've taken in on trade against a green car. And then like what John's working on here, this is a car we're, we're looking at to, to put a diesel conversion in. Some of them can be a total waste of money and make no economic sense. So he has to make sure that uh, mechanically the car's all there. Especially if you're taking a perfectly good gasoline motor out. In my book, it's kind of hard to do that. It's nice to get the last bit of whatever's left in the, the gasoline motor. We go out and try to find wrecked diesel cars so we can get their engines out of them. So these are a bunch of low mile diesel engines that we can put into the, the Volkswagen line, for example. These are normally found in, say, a Volkswagen Golf or a Volkswagen Jetta, and then John will magically make it fit inside a uh, rear engine car. That's a diesel motor that's going to end up in there probably. That's out of a European mid-90s Golf. Red oh, for fit them into these uh, Vanagons here. Uh -huh. These are getting converted to biodiesel. Yeah. Biodiesel is different than the vegetable oil. The uh, vegetable oil is a totally different thing. We actually have to put a separate fuel tank in it because it needs work. to be heated before it can be burned. And it smells like popcorn when you're going down the road. This is where we do the fueling. And this is a uh, biodiesel and customers come in and fill up, uh, self-serve themselves. We are now getting it from a place called Standard Oil up in Marysville who uh, goes around and collects used vegetable oil and then uh, does the conversion process to make biodiesel out of it. Well, this is becoming more and more popular. In fact, uh, up until about last year, there was only a handful of places you could buy it. And now there's at least a dozen around here. Yeah, this one's fresh off the truck. So what makes a repair facility that looks like any other shop green. Everything from cleaning to getting rid of old grease. What do we do with the old oil? We get solvents that are safe. We get brake cleaners that do not cause cancer. No VOC, non-chlorinated. This is a smart car that got rear-ended, so it's back here getting repaired. When you see things like this, it gets me excited because it, it looks as uh, normal as you can possibly get and there's, an, there's not a, a huge environmental cost by, by having a couple of electric rigs and a Mercedes Smart in a, in a parking lot. It, it's fun. Next to it's a beat up old Dodge Sprinter with a, with a diesel in it, um, 30 miles to the gallon. It's fun to watch and I get a, an emotional connection to what you're doing and, and the product that's coming.
the colors, you can get your choice of almost any color in the rainbow.